The Extra Point. Sponsored by Unwind. Folks, you know, Ben, I'm pumped. I am pumped, and I, I just feel excited. I electrify. Feel me? I'm just electrified. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, you shocked Ooh. me. Well, hey, first week of uh, region play. Let me yeah. tell you, behind the scenes tonight, chaos trying to get mm. this show together. So. Wow. But here we are. Let's rock and roll. Okay. All right. Well, with me, of course, does he need any introduction? The former Trojan boys, the WDHN News Director, Ben Stanfield. Uncle Benjamin, yeah. it's your insight into Wiregrass Picks and Kufutaji, who really puts it all together here. Well, and Mike, you've been doing this for so long, too. and so Some say too long. <laughs> Not long enough, I say. First week of region play this season. We have some real classics on tap for your pigskin futaji viewing pleasure tonight. And who best to give us perspective of it all? Mm -hmm. But of course, the Vanna White of Wiregrass Prep Football, Sarah Draco. Draco! Hey guys. So a lot of big games tonight and we have a really great lineup of games coming up in your big board. I'll have those in just a few minutes, but for now, let's send it back to you guys. All right, Sarah, thanks so much. Good evening to you. And and uh, great to have you with We need to hear the folks' tonight. help, you know, with somebody's yeah, we need, scores. Uh, we needed an uh, Ayrton score. Mm -hmm. We need to hear from you. Give us a call right now, 793-1818. We want to hear from you at home. All right. Well, Ben, you know, take it away, Let's as they say. Let's get it fired up, friends. Tonight at the VET on the Troy University campus, Charles Henderson looking to rebound following last week's loss to Enterprise. This time they're hosting their 5A region foe, the resurging. Mm -hmm. Rehoboth. Rehoboth Rebels. So, okay. Governator, roll the view to the beautiful football Futaji Veterans Memorial Stadium on the campus of Troy tonight. Mike, it was a punt festival. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I Rehoboth usually go to those punter games. Jeffrey Peacock, and he's good. Mm -hmm. He is good. Mm -hmm. Here's Charles Henderson punting. Mm -hmm. All right, first quarter here. Probably a good hang time there. It's about three uh, or four yeah, seconds. Yeah, that first punt I'm going to give the best one of the night to. Mm -hmm. uh, Mr. Peacock, show us your feathers <laughs> one more time, shall we? Uh, these are the highlights because yeah. there were none. Very the, little offense. At least quarter. While our cameras were there. Yeah, final in this one, six to nothing. Charles Henderson. So Chuck High with defeats Rehoboth. There's nowhere to go but up in the broadcast. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Literally, you're literally. It was right. a good game, though. It, was, it really was. Yeah. If you're a defensive guy, great ball mm. game tonight. Uh, Rehoboth had some great promise there. Six minute drive to start yeah. the game out. They just couldn't capitalize. Yeah. So. Well, you yeah. know, it's probably playing at the vet. That's yeah. kind of an yeah, awesome type of situation. New turf is very nice. Is it? At Troy. Yes, it very is. good. Yes, it is. All right, so from the county seat of Pike County, let's head now to Headland, hosting Booker T. Washington out of Tuskegee tonight, Mike. Yeah, well, Ben, when Headland plays at home in J.J. Yarborough Stadium, good things usually happen. All right, down 12 to 8 in the second quarter. Headland looking for a way to take the lead back right before the half. Headland QB, DeAndre Newman hands it off. Well, to, that was to Tyler Danzi, who gains a few yards right there all right well the, you know headland is moving ben you know that's been that way fourth and long newman finds danzy enough for the first down and also a roughing pass penalty gives the rams a new set of downs all right let's go to the final score on this one headland here. all night baby <laughs> 38 to 12 over booker they're, they're T. continuing from what they did last week or last year i should say all right so we started in troy let's move now down to brundage yeah class 3a region 2 very competitive and the 2018 champs pike county tonight Hosting those surging Houston Academy Raiders. Mm -hmm. But, Mike, the, the Raiders were not, not there. Not a good night for the Raiders. All right, so I showed you that on purpose. Pike County's cutting the grass this year. So that can't be used as an excuse. Number eight, Rashawn Reynolds. He is gone. 70-yard touchdown makes it 26 to nothing. 
Oh, no. Yeah, but it was waved off. There was a flag. Yeah. All right, so they waved it off. All right, so Pike County up big. They missed the extra point here. They were up big early. They were up big late. They were up big <laughs> in between. Not a good night for no, H.A. No. 50 to nothing. Wow, the dogs. Well, you know, well, they won the uh, Region 2 Class 3A last year. Yeah, Pike, Pike County, County continuing. They only got like 25 guys. Uh, I know, but team, they're so. 25 men. Oh, they're 25. Men. Very good, uh, <laughs> uh, right there at Rangers yeah, Edge. Exactly, level, so. and Ben in the city. Let's go to the Two Rivers, of course. Tonight we had another important Class 3A Region 2 Battle of the Titans. Geneva hosting 2-0 Providence Christian at U Owen Stadium. Always a tough place to play. Well, in course, it will be less than two minutes to go before the half. Providence up by some 29 wow. points. Boy, that's I'll tell you, Providence is for real, for Rock sure. And There's rolling, Coach yeah. Kenny Keith. He's saying, hey, guys. Get it together. Flap your wings, young man. <laughs> he goes to the <laughs> college and McClintock throws it deep. And the ball is intercepted by the Panthers defense. I'm not quite sure what number that was. Well, the Eagles, of course, would go on to win this one. You know, this was just a taste of what took place. 41 to 16 Providence Christian wins and they are now they are undefeated. And yeah. I think they were number six in the state's riders poll yeah. in 3A. So they were six this past week, so they'll probably move up. A Kings of the though. region right now, though. We'll see who joins them at the top coming up later in the broadcast. Mm -hmm. We've seen some pigskin futanji, Mike. Now we want to see some scores, right? And we got the Draco. Who else can we ask for? What hey. you got, Drake? Well, like we said, a lot of big games. Also, a lot of scoreless games. As you can see right here, Enterprise didn't do so good against Auburn Tigers, 34 to 0. Ooh. Next, we have Andalusia also losing to UMS Wright, 21 to 7. And then next, another goose egg on this one, Catholic Montgomery, 48 to 0 against Dell County. So, like we said, a lot of big games, a lot of scoreless games. Back to you guys. All right, Draco, why did you bring us that bad news of Enterprise <laughs> losing like that? that? Was, uh, Dale Blame County Draco, folks in Coffee County. Not a good night uh, for, <laughs> for the scores we just saw there. Sarah Drake, the Ashford Yellow Jacket product, by the way, in case you were wondering at home. All right, so coming up, we're going to take you to the rip for the highlights from our game of the week as well, Mike. And guys, the phones have been ringing off the hooks. Call in your score. You were there. Your friends were there. Give us a call. 793-1818. Player of the Week, sponsored by Hyundai of Dothan. Hi everybody, Felix here representing Hyundai of Dothan. We're here to recognize and congratulate Hess Horn as Player of the Week, You Follow High School.
Game of the Week, sponsored by ENT Care. Welcome back, folks. Well, Ben, just like his wife, Chanda Rigby, coach of the Troy Ladies basketball team, one never knows what to expect when Ed Rigby comes to the Circle City to play football. Yeah, you're absolutely right. Ed Rigby, as you follow squad, comprised of pure athletes taking on the Wolves in their first ever mm -hmm. region clash. They're loose, baby. They go to <laughs> Unwad in Dothan. <laughs> Students fired up for the Wolves at Rip Hughes. Dothan strikes first. Nick Bowden finds Donald Glenn for the touchdown. You follow, though, didn't waste any time either. Quarterback Matthew Hess Horn finds his man, Radarius Thomas, with a 45-yard touchdown. Dothan gets it back going, and uh, Jamal Lane here going to start mm -hmm. us off. He's going to find Donald Glenn again. Lane to Glenn. Check out that catch there. Yeah. Wolves cheerleaders really pumped about this one. Big crowd again tonight. At this point, Dothan's up two touchdowns. This one would get very hairy wow, down look the stretch. At that. But Dothan scored a couple of times very late in this game. They trailed 38 35 mm -hmm. and scored 14 unanswered, Mike. Yeah. Get a big win tonight. And you follow, we're going to hear from uh, Mr. Horn, Hess Horn, who is the quarterback, you know, uh, because he's our player of the week. But we'll yeah. get into that in just a moment. Don't blow it. All right. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And folks, with us right now is Extra Point reporter Mr. Roberto, Robert Smith, with the winning coach. Uncle Roberto, as always, keeping it real. Here at the game of the week, guys, and I got Coach Grider here with me. Coach Grider, it was a good game. You guys played very well. Uh, they kind of got back in the game, and you guys, you know, they took the lead for a little bit. But you, you managed to get back in it, take that lead. Just talk about the effort from you guys tonight. Well, I couldn't be more proud of the way we won it. Uh, we weren't playing our best at times offensively or defensively, but we found a way in the fourth quarter to win a game instead of finding ways to lose. Can't be more proud of the guys. It was a great effort. And they, they, you heard it from Coach Grider here at the game of the week. Back to you guys. Wow. Very good. Yeah. yeah uh, we're on the big win. Yeah. I, I expect to see Dothan in the top ten this coming the week. The Wolves are Woo! howling to the moon, in All right. fact. Let's go over to Drake. Howl us out some scores, will you please? All right, guys. Right now we have GW Long winning 59 over Barber County. And then Laverne taking on New Brockton, winning that game 33-28. And then we have Zion Chapel and Goshen. Another scoreless game, guys. We have quite a few of those. And then Jordana taking on the Floral right, Wildcats. Florala. The Wildcats winning 30 to 20. And we will have more coming up, but right now let's send it back to you guys. Coach right. Toby Green with Florala. Yeah. Two wins so nice far this job. season. Nice mm -hmm. job. And uh, was back at Cottonwood back in the day as well. Coming yeah. up, another Class 3A Region 2 game. We'll head to the burn. Yeah. Coach Rich Tisdale and the best beard in local <laughs> football. And the Red Tops bring a large contingent from Eastern Geneva County to the Panther Palace in, in Wicksburg. Team of the Week, sponsored by Good Morning Mattress Center. We're here on behalf of Good Morning Mattress Center and WDHN, the Extra Point Show, and our Team of the Week, the Delville Warhawks. Congratulations, guys. Yeah.
The Extra Point, sponsored by Unwad, preparing athletes for more than sports. Mike, you ever wake up in the morning that shoulder, uh, you know, maybe, uh, That's when you call the, un- the good Unwad that folks. That is when you call the good Unwad folks. Uh, exactly. Their, their theme is that movement is life. Master it. Yeah. Well, yeah. I, I'm working on it. I haven't yeah. quite captured that. <laughs> well, folks, welcome we're losing, back. <laughs> we're losing more every day. Yeah. All right, friends. Well, we hear the old adage is three yards and a bucket of blood. Tough sledding when it comes to region rivals, Slocum and the Wicksburg Panthers. Yes, indeed. A battle royale heading into western Houston County as the Panthers seek revenge for last year's heartbreaking 14 13 loss to the Red Tops. Show me that food Taji mm-hmm. Garbinator. Panthers sitting on a 14-0 lead just before the half. Slocum trying to get on the board right here. Braden Whitaker sails the pass downfield, and it's caught. It was underthrown. Tanner Berry came back and got it. Great job, mm-hmm. young man. I like the effort. Whitaker here, check him out. A big time run for another Red Tops first down. It's in the water down there, baby. Mm-hmm. They're thirsty tonight. <laughs> but Rayshon Miller going to jump in these highlights as well. He says, don't forget about me, guys, and he's in the end zone. Slocum on the board, down 14-7 at the half. But it was the Mm -hmm. Wicksburg show in the second half. They score the only seven points of that second half. Wicksburg wins it 21-7 in the revenge It's good to see Wicksburg back in the W column. Yes. You know, they've had a tough game last week, but they're back winning. All right, well, tonight at the revamp, Chanel Stadium in the city of opportunity, a Covington County battle of the ages. Op Bobcats coming off a winless 2018 season, hosting the Strong Tigers, which only had two victories last year. Ben, a Class 3A Region 2 contest for Op's home opener, the Bobcats, and their crowd. They're feeling, as I was saying earlier, electrified. Series of miscues gives Strong an advantage. Yeah, that was QB <laughs> Michael Smith are through the interception to Strong's Hunter Stevens, and that would put the team of Central Covington County. Look at that single caller, Adam. Anderson, that was a naked bootleg right, student body right, and the move of humanity. The senior into pay dirt. Tigers with a quick lead. But the home gob, Bobcats would come back. They would come clawing back, as you see on your screen, folks. Up over Strawn, 35 to 12. Mike, let's get in the car. We're going to mm-hmm. Dixie Howell Stadium in Hartford now, named after a famous Crimson Tide star from, from the Roaring Twenties. <laughs> a Class 2A matchup tonight between the home Geneva County Bulldogs taking on those pesky Ayrton hey. Purple it cats. was a feline fiesta. Is a purple cat a real animal? That's my question I think, tonight. I think Scott has one. Dog. <laughs> Dog's fired up. Look at a rebound from last week's lost arrival, Geneva. Emmanuel Henderson takes the handoff, and wow. he's off to the races. Oh. Leaps over a man, but fumble. It's knocked out. Touch that. Touch back, I should mm-hmm. say. Errington ball. That's Joshua Herring. Yeah. He drops back for the purple cats and slings that cat scratch fever deep to Hayes Floyd. He's in the house for six and makes the pigskin for Taji. Bulldogs with the ball now. Cole Saunders with the screen pass to Kobe Fuller. He would go all the way down for the touchdown, dogs. Extra point here makes it 8 6. Ayrton, you see this one now. Yeah. Whoa, we had a lot of scores there. I went by, I went by Dixie Howell. Yeah, yeah, I went by there earlier, and that place was packed. They were cars, yeah, like several blocks away That's what for we people like trying to get in there. The whole town. <laughs> Comes out. Game. Yeah. yeah. Who's that picture? Oh, that's Chairman Culver back yeah. there. <laughs> in Western Geneva <laughs> County, a battle of Tigers at Alma Hawk Stadium hosting the Calhoun Tigers, a team which is currently on a 41 game losing streak. Yeah. Mike. In fact, they haven't recorded a W since 2014. Gavaneda, you know what to do with that footage. Tonight was not Calhoun's night. Well, the game was delayed for 30 minutes because of a flat tire there. Oh, no. I know. Well, Samson was nice enough to pick up Calhoun and bring them in their buses. Samson told us if we stayed, they would score early. And they didn't disappoint, in fact, because here, Samson gives it to John Jenkins, who takes it deep into Calhoun territory for the point. He makes pay dirt, friends. Look, zigzags his way. Looks like Barry Sanders of old. The extra point is good, in fact. Let's go to that scoreboard. It was Calhoun. Look at this, Samson, yeah. big time. No wonder they went to pick him up. <laughs> yeah, bring him, bring him on in. Yeah, bring him to Rick Hughes next yeah. week. Yeah. Come on down. <laughs> All right, let's go to Draco on the big board. What's going on? 
Well, guys, first off, Scott's cat looks more like Garfield than the purple cat. But let's get into <laughs> some right. scores real quick. All right, so Pleasant Home, another scoreless game here. Elba wins this one 54 to 0. Abbeville Christian Chambers Academy, we don't have that score yet. If you have it, call us 793 1818. And then Northside Medicine. That is taking on Lakeside, winning this one 44 to 26. And Freeport winning this one 43 over Pike Liberal Arts 28. We'll have more. Back to you guys. All right, All very right. good. Thank Coming you. up, more pigskin futaji. But first, quick shout out to our studio sponsor. We are live in the Timberline <laughs> Home Studio. I feel like I'm in the living room. They are located mm -hmm. at 5449 Montgomery Highway. Move it to a home you'll love. We'll be RB. Cheerleader Squad of the Week, sponsored by Physicians Hearing Center. Well, the votes are in, and on behalf of Physicians Hearing Center, would they like to help you hear that cheer? And the Extra Point Show on WDHN on Friday night, the Cheerleaders of the Week, the Dothan Wolves. <laughs> Has to. <coughs> what? What? Welcome back, friends. Abbeville hosting Cottonwood mm -hmm. tonight. All right, okay. so let's go ahead and roll the roll. futaji, guys. Go, go, let's go, 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 They're telling me I don't have any time here. A botched handoff leads to an Abbeville recovery. Sets up some pretty good field position. Unfortunately for the Yellow Jackets, a Cottonwood defender. Watch him right here. Going to show his skills, okay? Intercepted, mm -hmm. baby. Mm -hmm. Show me the big man wearing 52 uh, right. like Ray Lewis. A few plays later, Austin McCardle going to find his wide receiver right here. Abbeville wins this one 38 to 7, but here's a Cottonwood highlight. My man's got hands, and that was their only touchdown of the night. All right, final score 38 7. Abbeville with a big win. Mm -hmm. Very Mike, big. Take Very it away. big. All right. And our team of the week had another outstanding performance. The Daleville Warhawks hosting class to a Region 2, Houston County Warhawks, Dave. Daleville going into the game at 2 0, oh, in fact. And here, this is Houston County. They got off to a bad start, opening kickoff, but that's Kazarius Evans, except for a knee injury. That was and who was just was, taken off the field there. Yeah, yeah and, uh, and did Jalen White, mm -hmm. the show began. Yeah, already offers from, uh, well, Vanderbilt, in fact. All right, wow. final score there, no problem for Daleville, 44 to 6 over Houston County. He's going to play uh, maybe some SEC ball at some Possibly. Point. He's got the size and speed. Southwest Coffee County, Brantley leading 21 to nothing over the Kinston Bulldogs. Mike, you picked Kinston to win this game. Yeah, I know. Point. I mean, a bigger. All right, this is the quarterback for Brantley. He is uh, 
in the backfield. He will throw it, tosses it 58 yards. Looks like Bo Nix there. Yeah. Beautiful the catch. Canyon he, Dixon with the catch the, there. Beautiful. That was Tucker Kilcrease who threw the ball. And this was really no contest. Brantley over the Kinston to battle of the Bulldogs 55 to 13. Let's go to the big board. Drake, what you got? All right, real quick. Freeport wins this one 43-28 over Pike Liberal, Abbeville Christian, Chambers Academy. Still don't have that Abbeville, score. come on. <laughs> Early County wins this one 27-20 over Cook. And North Miami Beach 0, Bainbridge 37. And Mariana 17, Bluntstown 37, Sneeds 27, Holmes County 20, Bozeman 21, Chipley 20. And that's it. So back to you guys. All right. We've covered North Miami Beach more than their home yeah. media. I know. In Bainbridge. <laughs> I had, yeah. they, they're the traveling group. I'll they tell are you the what. traveling group. All right. We got to take a break. We'll be right back. Band of the Week, sponsored by Buffalo Rock. We're here in Ozark, Alabama with the Carroll High Eagles, the pride of the Wiregrass Band. They have been selected as the band of the week. So on behalf of our friends at Buffalo Rock Pepsi, I'd like to present their band leader, Nate Nelson, with his trophy. Congratulations. Thank you very much, sir. Play of the Week, sponsored by Lewis Smith Supply. All right, friends, here it is. You follow quarterback Hess Horn, finds his man, Rodarius Thomas for a 45-yard touchdown for the Tigers from Barber County, but it was not to be. Dothan, the mm. Wolves, win the game. But look, Hess Horn, we gave him Player of the Week. Yeah. Isn't that ironic? And he showed We're up. We're psychic, folks. So see, Keep our, it right here. Our trophies are good luck. <laughs> All right, so Drake, welcome back. You uh, jumped in for the first time tonight. Did I did. You, did you enjoy yourself? I did. I'm glad to be back. I'm excited. High school football. Yeah. I'm here to uh, be mm -hmm. with you guys again. Well, you did a great job. Thank we're, you. We're glad to have mm -hmm. you back with us tonight here in week three. So uh, there's some scores yeah. as we roll on out of here, friends. Um, Mike, do you have a final thought? My final thoughts, I, you know, some really great region games. I yeah. see a lot of parity, more parity this year in the regions than last year. That's just my initial and reaction. And 3A region two is going to show Ooh. out again. So at the top of the pack, mm -hmm. we got Providence, Wicksburg, Providence, Slocum and, lost, uh, but they're still in it too. Slocum's still in the mix. Mm -hmm. That's always a deep, a deep, and deep op is contest. coming back. Yeah, it's gonna Definitely. be a lot of fun, friends. Good night. See you.